All right, hey guys. I wanted to do a scav run through reserve, kind of highlight what I hit and what are some of the best routes you can go as a scav. Oh. Ideally, when you're coming in a reserve, if you're hearing that, the shooting, you're gonna avoid it as best as possible. We got about 20 minutes left, so we got plenty of time, a nice slow move. I like doing reserve at nighttime because most of the time PMCs that are coming to reserve at night, they're generally going straight down to the bunker. Let's see. Now, reserve is good if you're looking for either straight rubles. Um, a lot of people have said streets is amazing for rubles. Yeah, no, streets is awesome for it. Uh, the latest few updates that they've pushed out have made streets playable i'm still learning the best routes through there because i've ended up getting killed by pmc's on my few scav runs i've done through and then i've been focusing on tasks a lot more than anything else so i haven't actually done a whole ton of scav runs lately uh and my ruble count kind of shows it at this point So with this spawn, it's real nice and easy. We're going to go through Black Knight, or this is White Knight, Black Knight, and then we're going to be hitting most of the filing cabinets. They are your big money makers. Um, there's a few other spots that I generally like to hit as well. So yeah, it sounds like their shots are over in the other knight building. useless. So I like reserve if I'm looking for weapon parts and tools. Um, there's a few other things. There's a good amount of intel items as well, but that's better if you're a PMC because the amount of locked rooms with intel spawns is actually kind of insane. That is uh, Gluhar and his guards. So right now I'm picking everything up just to get the experience. Um, there does get to be a point where I don't, uh, I don't bother picking stuff up, but at the start it's never, never a bad idea. Do I have, I don't know if I have the... Because it sounds like it's Gluhar and the boys out there. I'm going to avoid exposing myself as much as possible. So cat, tourniquet, pineapple. <laughs> it's just another scav. So I'm, I'm guessing those shots are scavs getting killed by Gluhar more than PMCs. Um, and it looks like no one has been up here yet. So we're going to take advantage of that. You need weapon parts, suppressors, stuff like that. If this room is open, it's great.
I'm actually looking for a few specific things. I don't know if I end up finding them. There's 993, which is great. So the, this weapon room hall is not amazing, but it's not terrible either. Getting the 993 is pretty big if you are using DMRs in that caliber. I always check over here. You can have paracord can spawn here. I've found sugar before. Um, so it's just kind of good all purpose. Uh, you can have, I think it's three duffel bags can spawn in here at once. One there, one there, and one there. Let's see. You can have food spawns here, so if you ever need a food run, reserve isn't that bad for it. Um, there's four food crates that I'm going to try to hit. So Marlboros, I've noticed they kind of do this weird thing where near a reset, they go up in price to about 18,000 a piece, but otherwise they're about 9,000 a piece. Um, if you're using them for the barter, I always just pick them up. Um, I sell during the reset period of them, so I sit on like, I think it's on average 10 to 12, put them up for 17,000, 15,000, depending on what the prices on the flea market. Let's see. Um, you can check up here. I have definitely found optics up here. Um, but it does expose you. Like that's kind of the big thing. With any of the scav runs, you should always be trying to weigh out, okay, is this gonna be worth risking myself? Hoping for better ammo than that in there. Now, as you may have seen in previous videos that I've done, um, coming in here and doing these filing cabinets is never a bad thing. But, a light bulb on the ground tells me that someone's already been through here. These jackets and the duffel bags in this room and in the opposite night room always seem to get skipped. There's a radar commandant key. Thousand rubles. So because I heard gunfire that sounded like it was coming from this building, I'm actually not going to go into it. It could have easily come from train yard and my hearing just being slightly off, but I like playing it a little bit safer. <laughs> Let's 
see. Do a little quick organization here. If I get in a gunfight, I'm dead. I'm using a bolt action. It's not the greatest situation to be in. So I've been noticing that this office room right here is always missed. Uh, you can have med spawns up here on these shelves. I found adrenaline, morphine, different injectors. And then you have this med bag here as well. Hey, morphine. Never a bad thing. And then this gym, as you can see, can have multiple duffel bags spawn. So, never a bad idea to check it. And this is where we're going to start. So, four duffel bag spawns is a, seem, seems pretty good. Shelves. <clears throat> so I'm not going to go down into the underground bunker because I'm going to do a special video just on the bunker itself. Um, kind of a unique situation with the bunker because you can go down there at any point in time in the raid and you'll usually find something of value. Right now I'm going to be hitting mostly the pawn buildings. I'm not going to hit White Bishop mostly because it is um, a med building. The best rooms you need keys for. This side room gets skipped quite a bit. But it's, it's two racks of filing cabinets. That's huge amount of chance at intel spawns of any kind. Between military flash drives, actual intel, flash drives themselves. I've made a video on like using these filing cabinets to look for your gas analyzers and your flash drives. What do we have? We have RBAO. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this one. That I believe is over into RBAO I believe is the tech building. the uh, drop-down room. See, now we're starting to get it. Ah, it's not as valuable as it could be. Um, so I actually picked those up because they're used in uh, the barter for Comtax. So it just it saves you a little bit of money. Um, when I do budget runs, I use contacts. Otherwise, I like using sword ends. Oh, there's a poor dude that got stripped of everything. Once again, we're going to check the shelves just on the off chance that there is a decent tool spawn on them. Um, I have found Bulbexes in that side room before. Easy 80,000. Uh, 75,000, actually. Light bulb. And the nice thing about this route is that it works even if you're coming from this side of the map. You just kind of reverse the order. Well, 
Well, I just heard suppressed weapon fire. So because I don't know if that's a friendly scav or if that's a PMC that's in there looting around, I took the quick way out. Um, remember, your, your goal as a scav, especially if you have like a loadout like this, which is not great. Let's see, check these. This has all probably been gone through, but it's always a good idea to see if, what goodies they leave behind. Um, your goal as a scav is to survive. I mean, your goal in general is to survive. But, you know, killing PMCs, you have to go into the run with that mindset of, this is what I'm doing. I'm not going to bother doing tons of looting and stuff like that. Toolbox Central. It looks like everything has gone through. Um... Well, that's off to the side, so it might have been missed. Nope. Yeah, I'm pretty sure RBAO is for that room itself. I don't know if that's actually up here on our level or if that's underground. The vertical sound issue needs to be fixed, but, you know, that's always been a problem with this game. Alright. I am just checking for some other uh, random things here because... I'm on uh, spot tour three I've been neglecting, and so I need the clean window cleaner. I've got one crafting, so I just need to find like one. Yeah, whoever came through here cleaned it out. Uh, the other thing I need right now is uh, an Ushanka. I'm so bad about leveling Ragman quests. Um, I did remember cowboy hats this time around. Last wipe, it took me forever to find cowboy hats. This wipe, it's the Ushanka hats. So if someone has been through here, filing cabinet is open, which means this box probably has nothing. Yeah, nothing. Always worth it to check it, but you never know. Sometimes people get lazy or they get interrupted while searching. The reserve is kind of spooky at night. We got three minutes to go, which means if there are PMCs still up, they have to be leading, heading towards an extract at this point. Let's see, PRS, PPT, FMJ. Now, 
Now, once again, someone most likely went through these, so I'm not going to take the time, but hit these up. You can hit, get a lot of rubles just on the violin cabinets alone. Um, I also do recommend checking these side rooms that don't generally have loot spawns in them. Because when players get in fights, they like to drop their bags. And they'll drop it somewhere where they'll come back to it. And there have been a few times now where I've been up here as a scav. And I've gone to check a room, like I've come into this bathroom before. Checked back here and there's just a PMC's bag. That they went and they fought somewhere and they died. And I was like, oh, neat. A bag full of loot. So I always I always recommend all of the pawn buildings if you're doing a scab run. No matter what you're doing, this should be an integral part of your route just for the filing cabinets alone. The tech building, if you can get there early enough, or even if you get there late enough, it's usually worth it to check the drop-down room because some people go to drop-down or they don't bother to go to drop-down because they're like, oh, someone's already been here, there's no point. It sounds like there are still fights happening down there. Green box. Alright. Time to get out of here. A minute left to extract. Easy. Yeah, I got a hole in Chimera is better than the boonie cat. Boonie cat. Now, if you want to be a dirty PMC player, and I haven't tried this out yet, but going up there and waiting to see how many scavs you catch at this extract is something I've always kind of wondered about. So, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and leave a comment down below if there's any specific part of reserve that you would rather see me go through, like whether it's the bunker, if it's the dome up top, train yard. Those are the areas I kind of skip because I feel like they need their own unique videos for them. Let me know down below what you think about that idea, and then hit the subscribe button so you'll get the notification when I do put out those videos. Thanks guys for watching.